Welcome back my friends. So if you purchased a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, you're probably coming from an older Galaxy device, but some of you are coming from iPhones, possibly a Google Pixel or a Moto phone. And if that's the case, I wanna show you a few things that you should, that you need to be aware of with your new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. The first thing, press hold, you come over here, tap on settings, and you can adjust your home screen grid. That's important that you can do that. You can set it up however you like, whatever is most comfortable for you, okay? Also, you can do your app screen grid as well. That is for your app drawer. Also, if you want, you can adjust your folder grid as well. And what that does is, you know, how many, your, your folder grid. There you go, you got that, right? Next, press and hold again. Something that you should be aware of as well. And this happens to me, all right? So, rotate the landscape mode. Now, if you have this turned on, it's gonna be doing all of that nonsense. Some of you might like it, as you can tell I don't. So I keep it turned off. Also, swipe down for notification panel. If this is not turned on, watch what happens. You're gonna come here and that's gonna happen. <laughs> so you swipe down and you get your app drawer. Swipe up, app drawer. No, what you wanna do is come back over here and you want to come over here and swipe down for notification panel, turn that on that way, you can just do this. So if you want your app drawer, yeah, swipe up. But if you want your notification panel, swipe down. That way you get all that stuff right here. And you can also, you see that little thing here? You can also adjust all of this stuff as well. The little pencil gives you the option to edit, all right? So there you go. So you might want to get real familiar with some of those settings. Also, the next thing you need to do, out of the box, I've had these Samsung Galaxy phones for some reason, set at 1080. Well, this is a 1440 display, so there's no need to be, you know, over there with 1080. I know you get all these people talking about trying to get better battery life. Don't worry about that. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery. You'll be just fine. Set this thing at 1440. Out of the box for some reason, and with my experience, these have come at 1080. Maybe Samsung has stopped doing that, but as far as I know, you still you still get to get it out of the box at 1080. You wanna make sure, no, you're at 1440, all right? You're paying good money, get the most out of your phone. Next, screen mode. You wanna make sure you come over here and you adjust this, vivid, natural, however you like it. You can check it out like that. Next, you wanna adjust your white balance. That's what's wonderful about Samsung Galaxy phones. They give you the option for your eye comfort and then tap on advanced settings and you can go further and really, really, really advanced the details, the color details of your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Okay, next up real quick, Another very important setting you can do, especially if you're coming like from an iPhone, you might not know this. Come over here to sound and vibration. Scroll down to sound quality and effects. You can turn on your Dolby Atmos for basically everything. Uh, you got your ADAP sound under 30 years old anyway. <laughs> and then come over here to your equalizer. You can adjust accordingly, however you like, okay? The one thing that I'm going to tell you people is I tell this to everybody make sure that you're not afraid to dive into your settings i know a lot of folks they're afraid to mess something up right they go to the store or they get it in the mail their phone and then they're afraid to go to the settings and do stuff you don't got to worry about nothing just get your phone dive into it and go from there all right next up battery go to your battery and the one thing that i recommend people do is learn about your never sleeping out never your sleeping apps deep sleeping apps never auto sleeping put unused apps to sleep. I've made videos talking about this, y'all can check them out, but just real quick. So say you wanna put a, app, a deep sleeping app, right? I got like 14 of them, right? The way you do it, hit the plus sign, come over here, tap on whatever you want, it adds it to the list, you're good to go. Say you just want something to be a sleeping app, it's not quite as dramatic as deep sleeping, right? Same thing, plus button, tap on whatever app that you want it to do, and bam. And sleeping apps will run in the background only occasionally. Updates and notifications may be delayed. All right. So anyway, those are some things that you should know about when you first get your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Do not be afraid to play around in the settings. Make this phone yours. You can also see here, if you want to, you got a theme. You can choose the themes, tap on themes, boom, go from there. You can really do a lot of customization without downloading any other apps or any other software. You can do a lot of customization just with a built-in customization on Samsung One UI. It's very, very intuitive software and a lot of fun. 
All right, everybody. Thank you for watching.